Hi, sorry, I'm calling from the corporate liaison team. It's, how are you doing? I'm sorry, hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I'm sorry, I'm in my car. Okay, I'm calling from the corporate liaison team. It's, how are you doing? I'm sorry, you're calling from who? Pharmacy. Can you hear me okay? Is everything... The pharmacy, I, I yeah, you. yeah. You bit. You were on hold to speak to us. You reached out with a complaint, and I'm just calling you back to see if everything got resolved. Uh, nothing got resolved. Oh gosh, tell me what happened. Uh, my daughter was went to your clinic, and your whoever handled her insurance billed Express Scripts, not her insurance. So I have a bill for 160 or 116 dollars. And I was calling to have them bill my insurance, not my express scripts. I was on for 45 minutes, mm. and I've done customer service, and I can tell when someone picks up on me, waits a second, and then hangs up. Now when I call back in, the store's closed. Right, right. Okay, I see. I see. Um, and so, what was? <clears throat> just explain the problem to me again. You wanted it, <clears throat> You wanted your daughter's prescription to be billed differently. No. So my, my daughter went to the clinic to get vaccinations okay. for, a, for a new job. When she went there, there were some, even before she went there, there were some questions that she was told by your representative she had to go to Express Scripts. Right. That's not the case. Express Scripts is for a pharmacy. She was getting inoculations, which goes through her medical. So when she went there, she gave our insurance card. Whoever took her insurance card processed it through Express Scripts, not through our medical. Right, right, okay. And um, and how old is your little girl? Uh, 25. 25? Oh. But she's under my insurance. Oh, and she couldn't call herself or, or do handle this on her own, no? Yeah, I'm, I'm home on disability and she's working for a living. Ah, uh, okay, got you, got you. Because obviously, like, when you call, they, you know they're going to ask to speak to her anyway, right? No. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she she should. And obviously, with your hearing issue, it might just be easier if you get her to call in. I have no hearing issue. You kind of do. I mean, I had to say the name of the company four times at the start of the call. I mean, are you sure you're, you're best equipped to deal with this? Would it be possible she could maybe call into one of our locations? Are you possible? Are you able to be a bigger asshole than you're being right now? Absolutely, yeah. Would you like I, me to? I said I was in my car, and I clicked over from my car, so there... There's a little delay when you go from a sink to All speak right. on your phone. And you sound and you like mumble. a... You, I, I mumble. I mumble. Excuse me, I don't mumble at all, you cloth-eared old tit. Look, can I just get yes, your... Yes, you do. Can I, I, excuse me, but I do not. Okay, you're just an idiot, right? And your daughter obviously yeah, can't handle this, this herself. This, don't make me get a supervisor in here. Well, you've been a prick, all right? You're calling me, an, you're calling you me names. Go, you, can go, you can get whoever the fuck you want in your attitude. It's just uh, to I'll get my supervisor. So want, I don't want to talk to you. You want to get me somebody else? Uh, get me somebody I don't want to talk, talk to you. Head. You fucking useless prick. Yeah, you tough guy over the phone. Ah, say please. Say, say, say please. You're fucking England or your fucking peach. Oh, your now you're gonna be. Oh, now you're gonna be all racist and xenophobic, are you? Yeah. Yeah. No. Is that what it is? Yeah. You're a piece of shit. Do you even know what xenophobic means, there? You fucking useless old cripple. <laughs> I'm a useless old cripple. Yeah, you fucking, you're a real, real tough guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. all right. Get, get me, get me your supervisor, you piece of shit. Say please, you dickhead. Yeah. So, no, I'm not gonna say please. You fucking ball bag. <laughs> tough shit. Then you're not gonna get any help, are you, for your dumbass daughter? I didn't get fucking any help anyway. You fucking piece of shit. Well, you were going to if you'd learned some manners, but obviously that's that's just way above you. Obviously, the way you talk, you work for a fucking shit company. You're probably a fucking piece of shit contractor. Yeah, and you're the one that waits on hold for 40 minutes begging for help from this shit company. So who's really stupid here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, dickhead. Yeah. Now, look, say please, I'll get the supervisor. You can complain about it to them, yeah? Go, go fuck yourself. I'll never say please do, you dickhead. I'll you just did. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you. Me. Your call is very important to us. Please hold.
Good evening. This is Michael. Hey, Michael. How you doing today? I'm doing all right. I've been passed over some notes here about uh, this call that you're having. Apparently, you've been on yeah, hold whoever, for a whoever while. I and... to is the most, whoever I talk to is the rudest piece of shit I've ever talked to in my life. Oh, okay. This kind of matches what it says here. It says here that you were waiting on hold for a while, and when the gentleman tried to help you, I guess there was you were throwing some abuse toward his way, and so he transferred you to me to try and rectify the situation. Yeah. Do you tape your calls? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we have a recording. Yeah, if the call's recorded, you should go back and listen to that, and, and then you should tell me if I'm in the wrong. Let me see here. I mean, I did customer service for years. I didn't know it was okay to call your customers a prick. Well, no, we definitely don't want you to call our representatives that word. I mean, that's definitely... No, that's what, that's that's might what he be called why me. He... That's what hmm. he called me. That would be out of character for him. He's usually our best uh, service guy. So what? what is the he's, overall he's, problem? He's your best risk group. My daughter went into your, your, your Medicare clinic. Right. Okay. And it was billed through my express scripts. It wasn't billed through my insurance. And you gave me a bill. Mm, I wonder, is it possible that express scripts is what's on file? I have no idea. I'm not looking at what you're looking at. That's what I was calling. I was calling the. What is it that they got? For my insurance. What I'm is sorry? it that they got? What What is it that they they received? Because I need to be able to pull this up here. I confirm. My daughter gave her medical card. Right. Is I mean, was this for a shot or? Uh, yeah, she, she had to get immunizations to start a new job. She transferred her employment. Yeah. So it looks like basically what the problem is. We cover, or well, we don't, but it depends on the insurance agency. If the insurance agency doesn't cover it, then it'll just use what's on file. And what I see here is that since this was an STD based uh, shot, that you know, VD, that it's not something insurance would cover. I uh, th th that's not the type of immunization it was, really. Okay, I wonder what, what happened here, because that's what they gave her. They gave her, let's see, penicillin for, it doesn't say what STD, but it's definitely a VD. Uh, it's here, under the code here's the best. I know, I know this call is now fraud. I know you're all fucking yanking my dick, because that's not the call look, that it's not always done. So I don't know what fucking scam you're running, but go fuck yourself. Look, if we can just put you on hold for 45 minutes and maybe get back to you. No, you, you could fucking suck my dick. That's fine, but you're going to have to wait at least 45 minutes on hold. Yeah, you're fucking... And, and you, I need to make sure you're immunized. Ha ha, <laughs> there he goes. He, <laughs> Dude, that was fucking perfect. <laughs> STD medication. <laughs> oh, was that Hazel? Okay, well done, Hazel. That was great.